Ryan Phillip first became known for his boyish good looks, but it was his supporting roles in films like Gosford Park, Igby Goes Down, Crash, and Flags of Our Father that solidified his reputation as a talented actor and not just another pretty face. He's led a pretty interesting career in life that most people don't know enough about. So, here are 10 things you might not know about Ryan Phillip. He was almost a soldier. Matthew Ryan Phillip was born in Newcastle, Duelaire, on September 10, 1974. During the Gulf War, he almost joined the armed forces. He told Entertainment Tonight, Out of high school, I didn't have a ton of options because my grades weren't the best and I didn't come from money. When I graduated, it was around the time of the first Gulf War and I did go and sit in a recruitment office and got the t-shirt and everything. While his friend who went with him to the recruitment office ended up serving in the Gulf War, Philip instead moved to New York to become an actor. He is a former soap star. His career did not begin with him starring in films. He landed his first professional acting gig at the age of 17 on the soap opera One Life to Live. He played Billy Douglas, the first gay teenager on a daytime soap opera from 1992 to 1993. He left the show because of disagreements with ABC about his character's development and then moved to Los Angeles to pursue a film career. He threw up while filming a scene for Cruel Intentions. You may remember that Ryan Phillips starred in the 1999 film Cruel Intentions. The actor had no problem filming the dark material, as he told the movie's screenwriter that when you break down the movie, it is really about Sebastian wanting to have relations with his stepsister in a way that would make most women cringe. When he was filming the breakup scenes with Reese Witherspoon's character, he actually vomited on the set, and the director made the actors film the scene until he got the footage he needed. It must have worked, because the scene turned out great in the version that made it into the final cut of the film. He almost cast in Star Wars. He was up for the part of Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones. He made it pretty far, even meeting with George Lucas and Natalie Portman. About his screen test, he told MTV News. I think it was sort of an age thing in their mind. It wasn't quite right, but yeah, they were interested. At the time, he was 25 and Portman was only 18. Anakin was supposed to be six years younger than Queen Amidala, so Philip was considered too old for the role. He has a gluten allergy. Ryan Philip will forever and always be a Hollywood heartthrob, and it appears as if he has his gluten-free diet to thank for that. According to Sumazelad, he is one of many actors who live a gluten-free lifestyle because of his wheat allergy. While many stars opt out for health reasons, Philip is amongst the few that have no choice but to give it up. Although this isn't always an easy thing to do, the actor stuck by his word and restructured his diet in order to make sure he could maintain his bulk. He has a black belt in Taekwondo. He was bullied as a child and to deal with it, he started training in the art of Taekwondo. He was just 11 years old when he earned his black belt. Throughout the years, he has competed in tournaments and has even helped teach kids martial arts. He struggled with depression. Philip comes off as a cool and collected guy, but he has been battling depression from an early age. In a 2015 interview with Elle, the actor opened up about his struggles in life. He said, you know, depression has been a huge obstacle for me ever since I was a child. As you get older, I think it decreases some, but I'm just innately kind of a sad person. I'm empathetic, and I take on the feelings of others and transpose myself into the position of others. While he admitted he found some advantages to being so sensitive, he also shared it could also ruin your life. He has been training five times a week for over 20 years. He is 48 years old, but he doesn't show his age. He has a flawless complexion, a fit body, and ripped abs. Genetics might play a role, but he also works hard to stay in shape. He told people, I've had the same trainer for 20 years. Happy Hill is his name. I've worked out with him four to five times a week for the last 20 years. The actor also stresses the importance of committing to regular exercise. He said that people who take care of themselves in their 20s, 30s, and 40s age more gracefully than those who pick up healthy habits later in life. His workouts last about 90 minutes and include a mix of bodyweight exercises, weightlifting, and high-intensity cardiovascular training, such as sprints. His training routine doesn't require state-of-art gym equipment as some may think. He prefers to keep things simple, so he only uses his own body weight and free weights. He's making waves in the fitness world. In 2017, Philip launched Become, a fitness app for men over 40. His mobile-based subscription service offers everything you need to get in shape, from workout plans to meal prep tips. 
He told Men's Journal, I and others like me have worked with some of the best trainers, nutritionists, and doctors. The Become app will cut through and simplify. He's also a producer, director, and screenwriter. Philip isn't just an actor, he's also a director and screenwriter. He wrote, directed, and starred in the 2012 film Catch Howl. According to him, the film is partially based on his friends as well as his experience, however, it failed to wow critics, and as a result, it received mostly negative reviews. He was also a producer for the 2016 season finale episode The USA Network series Shooter, a show based on the novel Point of Impact and a TV version of the movie starring Mark Wahlberg.